What's going on, bros? It's dark out. Let me just hold on. Hold on. Hi, my name is Emma, and I live and travel in my 2015 Kia Sedona. I spent most of the evening at this Starbucks recharging my Jackery, which is my power station. But now it's dark, and I still have quite a bit of driving to do. I am making my way to a secret destination you'll see in the next video. But I thought you might want to come with me, because I gotta do dishes tonight, I gotta take a shower, I gotta... I gotta fill my water situation and I'm not gonna be able to find a pretty place to park so we're gonna be sleeping in public somewhere. I think, I don't know, we'll figure out where we're gonna sleep tonight, I don't know. But I thought you might wanna come with me because this is very much a realistic side of this kind of lifestyle, driving around at night, having errands to do, and having to park somewhere where you haven't really planned out. <laughs> so um, yeah, come with me. First things first, we gotta find a gas station. We gotta stop for a little bit of gas. For those of you who don't know, I am from New York State. And in New York, these, these little flaps here to help just hold so you don't have to use your hands. Those are illegal in New York State. I don't know why, but it's so nice to just not have to deal with that. kind of tired so I pulled off at this gas station on the side of the highway and I'm gonna quick put up my window covers and then drive across the street to the truck stop that I'm gonna sleep at because I decided that I didn't want to do all that tonight and uh, I'm just gonna sleep at the truck stop okay I don't know how I thought I was gonna be that ambitious tonight. It's not happening, not happening. Oh. I'm gonna drive up closer to the truck stop entrance and use their restroom and stuff. I've got pretty, pretty bad anxiety this morning. But here's the thing, I'm also hungry. Normally, if I'm sleeping at a truck stop or at a rest stop or anything like that, I don't like to use it. I'll park there, sleep, and then move and go somewhere else to go use the restroom or get a coffee or something. But if I am going to do that, I will move to park directly in front of the building itself because that's where the cameras are. Probably most concentrated. I don't know. Safety. All right, let's go. Here's a thing that nobody tells you about until you've started living in your car. Preparing the shower bag. It's, it's kind of a lot.
didn't finish all of my dishes or all of the stuff that I needed to do there. Um, I kind of wanted to catch the vibe of the place, see if this hour was a busy time for them and then go by that. I don't do that all the time, but every once in a while, if I feel like I have so much to do in a location that I'm taking up their time and their amenities and I'm making it inconvenient for the locals, then I may try to split it up. If this was the only gym within a hundred miles, you know, it would be a different story. I would do all my stuff here, but I do have another gym closer to my destination this afternoon. So we're going to go there and finish up the activities and actually exercise and do all that. Um, I also need to do some laundry and then I guess I'll find out where I'm spending the night. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, I got out to get a yogurt. I didn't take you with me because it's not that interesting. I actually did get breakfast at that gas station, but I'm still hungry because I like didn't eat yesterday and I'm trying to exercise today and I'm not going to be able to do anything effective if I don't eat. I went to college with somebody who asked me to stop eating my yogurt because it reminded him of when his children were tiny tiny babies and they had yogurt they had chobani yogurt specifically and he he had like ptsd from the memory of his children's yogurt poop and i do get it ever since then i've been acutely aware of the smell of yogurt but like go somewhere else maybe if it's that bothersome to you. And for those of you who don't know, I worked in healthcare before I came out to live in my car. And so I went to college to go like work at the hospital. And I don't know, man, if you can't handle poopy, stinky yogurt, flashback, poopy baby smell, then maybe don't work in healthcare. Don't ask me to stop eating my damn yogurt because of your child rearing flashbacks. <laughs> All right, let's go. I am stopping for gas, if I can make this turn. I stop for gas pretty frequently. I like to refill my tank every time that it hits half full, which is another little safety thing as a girly traveling alone, never let your gas tank get below half. So you can always run if you need to. Is it? I'm just wondering if it's legal to park overnight here, like in a minivan? Like, to see. If you do, right here along this back okay. parking lot. Okay. I'm just laying out options. I'm not sure no, if I fine. actually will. <laughs> but um, you'll see the parking space is right up against the bushes right there. Gorgeous. It's right there. Gorgeous. Thank that you way, so much. You know, I appreciate you. Not a problem. Thank you. So I just went in to ask the lady if I could park at that gas station overnight just in case that I can't find anything else. I just want to have a couple backups in mind because it seems like this town is not very lenient towards people parking overnight. There are a couple Cracker Barrels here and I know that Cracker Barrel as the company is okay with it but I don't know if the town is. I think that this is one of the rare areas where a Cracker Barrel is not the best place to be at night. But yeah, we're just checking things out so that come 6, 7 o'clock p.m. tonight, I might be able to find somewhere to be. I'm just kind of driving around this plaza where the Anytime Fitness is. I'm driving to my second gym of the day. The reason I've been driving so much today is because there's a national park here that I want to visit and this gym is only a half an hour away from the entrance. We're gonna go into the gym and we're actually gonna exercise and finish our dishes, finish gathering water, and take another shower, and then I'm gonna do laundry. So it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got my water. I am hungry. We're just gonna move to uh, to the back part of the parking lot over there so that I can open up my trunk and have something to eat. Lunch time. Why? Just why? Let's go find a laundromat. It is cold and wet and rainy. So on the way to the laundromat that I found is a Cracker Barrel. So we're gonna go in there and ask just to make sure if it's okay for us to spend the night there. Cause this area is a little bit, a little bit here or there. Actually, never been inside a Cracker Barrel, so let's go run in and ask one of the people in there if it's okay if I stay the night. Oh, it's raining hard. I know it says Old Country Store, but. I didn't know that it was also a full store and not just a restaurant. Just a quick question. I was wondering if it was still okay for people to park here overnight? Yes, I would do it more than one night in the, in the back. Okay, cool. Thank you. I wasn't sure because I thought that there was one around this area where you couldn't. Probably yeah. one of them you can, Kodak, and this one you can. Okay, in, all right. In the back. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, we are good to go. I was right though. There's um, one or two other Cracker Barrels around this area that you cannot park at. So cool. I've got a place to sleep. <laughs> This laundromat was really cheap. It only cost me $3.75 to wash and dry my clothes, which was really nice. I'm not used to that. I can't actually sit up here. I wish I could, but that'd be too luxurious. <laughs> my pants go on this side. My tops go on this side. We'll leave the raincoat kind of on top for now and some of my hiking stuff kind of on top for now because I got some, I gotta, I gotta do some cool hikes coming up. It's gonna be fun. Woo! 
I'm gonna get back into the real hiking, the stuff that I haven't been doing since last year, so stay tuned. The back is looking put together. Hell yeah. I don't know what to do now. That's kinda, that's kinda it. I think I'm gonna edit for a while and then eat some dinner and then go to the Cracker Barrel. I kept hearing all these birds outside. Check it out. Heating things up in the car really fogs up my my windows a lot, so I just finished up my chili. Um, unfortunately, living in the car, food has totally lost its joy. <laughs> I do say that while I am eating moose munch from Christmas. Yeah, it's February and I'm eating Christmas leftovers. What are you gonna do about it? I wish I were better at cooking in the vehicle. I find it extremely difficult and mentally taxing to cook whenever I am in town. I'm kind of sad to say that food has just become a source of protein and calories. I, I have unfortunately made the decision to prioritize activity and hiking and exercising and stuff over food while neglecting the fact that I can't do all the activity to my highest ability without prioritizing food. So it's, it's a struggle for me, but it's, I don't know, man, maybe, maybe I'll just, maybe next time I go camping in the wilderness, we'll, we'll make an eggplant parm. What do you think? I think that that would be fun. I'm going to eat my damn moose munch as a little treat. And then I'm going to clean this out and then go to Cracker Barrel. So I bought this um, dehumidifier at Walmart, oh jeez, for like $44. I hope it'll be worth it because it's been wet and rainy for the last four days and heating up soups and stuff has made the windows a little bit more prone to condensation. So we're gonna, we're gonna give this a shot and see what happens. <laughs> I'm probably going to have a pretty early day tomorrow, so I brought out all of my um, breakfast essentials for a fast meal, and I'm going to bring out my hiking clothes because I'm going on a destination hike tomorrow, and I'm really excited. But we are going to be in black bear country, so stay tuned, my dudes. Stay tuned. Just a side note on a couple things. I realized that there were a couple loose ends in my video. I talked about being anxious this morning. Food did help with that for me. I gotta have a nice high protein meal and then go exercise. If I don't move and if I don't eat right, then the spiral into anxiety and insanity is fast. So I made sure that I kind of got myself taken care of today but tomorrow is a whole new day and we gotta do it all over again tomorrow <laughs> but anyway yeah the anxiety was better after food and exercise but oh the other thing oh i didn't show you um washing my spoons at the second gym because i forgot to i still have to do that <laughs> but anyway Thank you for watching. Please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.